Albert Einstein, the famous physicist who did so much of his later work here in New Jersey, but I bet you haven't heard about Einstein's Alley. It's not a particular street in Trenton. It's the name given to the booming Route 1 corridor in the effort to develop it into something like the Silicon Valley in California or the Research Triangle in uh, North Carolina. Here to tell us about Einstein's Alley are two people who've been working very hard on accelerating the speed of economic growth in New Jersey. First, Catherine Kish, who is the founder of Market Entry Incorporated, a strategic marketing and business development firm in Cranberry. Thanks for being here, Catherine. Thank you. And with Catherine is Lou Wagman, who is a principal in the Technology Management Associates. That's a company offering management services to young and expansion stage technology ventures. That company's in Princeton. Thanks for being here, Lou. Nice to be here. All right. So first of all, a little bit of background. What is Einstein's Alley? Tell us about it. Well, you know, Einstein's Alley is just a little bit bigger than, than you just uh, portrayed it. It actually geographically encompasses the, the central band of New Jersey, from Edison on the, uh, on the north down to Trenton, from the Delaware River to the Atlantic Ocean. So it encompasses about five counties, and it's that wonderful place in central New Jersey where there has been a terrific legacy of innovation and lots of technological development already, and it provides a wonderful base for further growth. So is Einstein's Alley a, a group, a nonprofit, an organization? What is it? Well, it's a, um, it's a private nonprofit organization uh, whose goal is to uh, accelerate economic development in the, uh, in the region by, uh, by attracting, by, uh, by uh, supporting, and by retaining technology-based uh, companies. How did it get started? Where did the idea for this? We know where you got the name, but how, how did the, uh, what, what's the genesis of how this started? Well, you know, people have been thinking about this for a long time. Uh, starting about 20 years ago, people really recognized that there was a powerful, powerful force between Rutgers University in New Brunswick, between Princeton University in, in Princeton, and all the other academic resources there were in this central New Jersey region. And so people like uh, Dick Woodbridge, uh, Jim Klingham of Sarnoff Corporation, uh, Ed Cohen, who was the state science advisor, George Tabor, the uh, original publisher New of uh, New Jersey Biz, these, these men started talking about this area. But you know what? They didn't put a really great name on it. They called it something like, what, the Princeton Rutgers, Rutgers Research, Research Corridor. And that just doesn't, quite have, done better. Yes, that doesn't quite have a <laughs> snap to it. So it, the idea was, was there in a nascent form, but it languished. And um, it was when Congressman Holt uh, picked it up in, in about 2003, I think yeah. it was, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they sent out a call to uh, to friends and neighbors to say, please think of a think of a good name. So, so uh, Mara and Pete Taft of of uh, Taft Partners came up with the name Einstein's Alley, and it really did catch on. And so people uh, people I think have have embraced the the idea even more with a good name. Same good ideas. But uh, better, better. It's all named. about marketing, isn't it? It is. And speaking of Congressman Holt, he has been instrumental in uh, what's been happening. We have a piece of tape that I want to show our viewers because um, he's he's been driving this engine a Absolutely. lot, mm -hmm. and um, he sort of described how he perceived Einstein's alley. Take a look at this. And it comes about when towns and organizations and individuals decide that they want to take control of their future, that they want to shape their future by encouraging entrepreneurs, building on a research and development tradition, building the workforce. That's what Einstein's Alley is. I often say it's more of a state of mind than a place. Yes. Um, and Rush Holt, uh, he was there, that piece of tape was from uh, an event in Hamilton where they've taken on the Einstein's Alley uh, uh, name and they're trying to promote that area, trying to promote that area. Tell me about what happened there. Well, it's, it was a wonderful, wonderful event. Hamilton declared itself a municipality in Einstein's Alley. And uh, Mayor uh, Glenn Gilmore uh, came out and um, a great many uh, members of the local corporate community. Mm -hmm. 
and it was a real celebratory sign raising. Another marketing tool, I imagine, or another way to it helps to identify. Absolutely, and mm -hmm. um, and helpful to uh, to Einstein's Alley, of course, because um, you know a great deal of what we need to do is to uh, create the brand, to create an image uh, for this uh, this area, but also good for Hamilton Township as uh, as well in terms of uh, of. Um, Letting people know that uh, that it's a uh, that it's a place where uh, where technology is uh, is flourishing. Look, may I interrupt for one second? I just want to ask you to tell us about what it is that makes this area so attractive, or what it what is it about this area that you're using to market in terms of workforce, location, or you know, how do you sell this? Well, if I if I had to just use one word to describe it, it would be the people. The, uh, this is an area that has a legacy of innovation that goes all the way back to uh, Albert Einstein, of course, to Thomas Edison with mm -hmm. all of the things that he invented, to, uh, to David Sarnoff, uh, to, uh, to Bell Laboratories and, uh, and the wonderful uh, things that have come out of there. And as a result, there's a, uh, there's a population here. Uh, it happens to be the best educated workforce in the, uh, in the United States. Uh, there are resources here now, there's infrastructure, uh, there's our location. Uh, you, know, you couldn't pick a better location than, uh, than, than, than where we are in terms of uh, you know, economic power. You know, it's, it's true that uh, New Jersey is so desirable that the folks from New York are claiming that the northern five counties of New Jersey are actually in New York. And the folks in Philadelphia are claiming that the southern six counties of New Jersey are actually in Philadelphia. And what we're saying is that Einstein's Alley is, is proud and truly in, in the center of New Jersey, which is really in the center of 60 million consumers. It is in the center of one of the world's great trading zones that goes from Boston to Washington out to uh, the middle of Pennsylvania. And one of the things that we want to, um, to help people hear and understand is that this area is not just the accidental center, it's the purposeful center for technology. Okay, we need to take a break and we're gonna be back right after this. Stay with us.